good morning today we will study about the river godavari okay this is one of the important river in south india and in the peninsular india godavari is the largest peninsular in river okay in peninsular india godavari is the largest one it rises from the slopes of the western ghats godavari rises from the western ghats in the slopes of western ghats in nasik district of maharashtra godavari originates from the nasik district of maharashtra its total length is 1500 kilometers 1500 kilometers godavari flowing through um, india and also draining into the bay of bengal okay its drainage basin also also very largest among the peninsula rivers large portions of uh, peninsula region is watered by the river godavari okay large regions are there and the basin part covers the parts of maharashtra madhya pradesh odisha telangana and andhra pradesh these are the states so these many states it is flowing through madhya pradesh maharashtra and uh, telangana andhra pradesh odisha also it is uh, stretching because it has many tributaries flowing from other states also okay now uh, this godavari is joined by many or number of tributaries we can find uh, some of the important tributaries like the uh, purna vartha the pranhita manchira vain ganga and pen ganga these are important uh, tributaries of uh, uh, river godavari large number of tributaries are there last three tributaries like the vain ganga manchira and pen ganga these are also very large rivers these are not like a tributary it is very large river itself they all join together uh, with uh, the uh, river godavari and flowing into the bay of bengal okay land because of its length where it is covering large areas and uh, godavari is watered uh, uh, many states and covering large area due to its length or extension this is also godavari is also known as the um, dakshin ganga okay the ganga of south india or dakshin ganga it is also known as now other important river is mahanadi <coughs> mahanadi or also uh, the northern part of godavari mahanadi also arises in the chatisgarh region the high hills of chatisgarh region flowing through the uh, odisha region <coughs> okay flowing through odisha and uh, drain into uh, the bay of bengal okay mahanadi originates uh, or flowing through odisha region and uh, flowing into the bay of bengal okay then uh, this is also flowing towards the east direction its uh, kilometer distance is 860 kilometers mahanadi flows on a 80 860 kilometers but it's also uh, shared by many of the states like maharashtra chatisgarh jharkhand and odisha it's flowing through maharashtra chatisgarh jharkhand and odisha other important uh, river in the uh, peninsular region is the river krishna krishna is also one of the important river in south india born from the uh, a spring in the uh, western ghats so that is also a place uh, is famous place and a pilgrim center also it's mahabaleshwar uh, in the maharashtra krishna river originates from mahabaleshwar in maharashtra about 1400 kilometers 1400 kilometers it is uh, flowing through uh, our country okay and uh, the tungabhadra and koyana bhata prabha uh, musi bhima these are important tributaries uh, tungabhadra gada prabha musi and uh, uh, koyana bhima these are important uh, tributaries of uh, a river uh, krishna okay so these also are, are stretching through different states so maharashtra karnataka telangana and andhra pradesh river krishna flows through maharashtra telangana andhra pradesh and karnataka regions okay now another important river in the south india is the, or in the peninsular river, uh, india is the kaveri river kaveri basin also is spreading in the larger regions of uh, south india 
this is also a raising uh, rises in the Brahmagiri range of the Western Ghats. It's also originating in the Brahmagiri mountain ranges in the Western Ghats uh, and uh, reaches the Bay of Bengal. <coughs> okay, all these peninsula rivers are flowing into Bay of Bengal. We have already studied due to the slope of the uh, Deccan Plateau. Pla Deccan Plateau slopes towards the east direction so that all these rivers flowing into the <coughs> um, Bay of Bengal. Okay, so here uh, this river, Kaveri River, is flowing through, uh, especially Tamil Nadu near Kadalur and uh, in Tamil Nadu and enters into the uh, <coughs> Bay of Bengal Valley. About 760 kilometers is the its a distance. It uh, covers 760 kilometers. There are some important uh, tributaries are there which are Amravati, Bhavani, Hemavati and Kabali. These are the important uh, um, uh, uh, tributaries. But it covers some of the regions uh, mainly flowing through the uh, regions of uh, Tamil Nadu but also touches the parts of Kerala, Karnataka also. Okay. Kerala, Karnataka and Tamil Nadu are the three states uh, this is uh, um, covered by. Okay.